All right, guys, so the question I had today was how to make a pocket look more like a pocket versus um, just looking like a shape um, or I'm trying to remember what the exact or looking like an envelope. All right, so what I'm going to do is with basic shapes, I'm just going to go ahead and grab the rectangle tool. I'll make a, oops, that was not the rectangle tool. I'm going to grab the rectangle tool and I'm going to make a square. All right, and roughly about the same. Actually, you know, I can do it with this. So I just made a square. What I'm going to do now is I want to make this look like a pocket. So I'm going to grab either my direct selection tool. Um, and I have these. Um, if I click on the plus sign, I can make a plus. And notice I'm looking for where it interacts so that I can see. I can go back to the direct selection tool by hitting A on my keyboard. And I can just. Um, hold shift and bring this pocket in just a little bit all right so right now it's a little bit too long I want to you know kind of work with the shape a little bit maybe widen it out just a bit um, and I'm okay with that so I'm gonna make this this is my first shape what I'm gonna do is I want to copy this shape and I'm going to paste it twice because it just depends if you have double stitching or single stitching i'm gonna go well we'll just see where this goes so i'm gonna hit command or control c and then i want to paste this in the front so i'm gonna hit command or control f which stands for paste in the front looks like nothing happened but what i'm going to do is i'm going to hold alt or option alt if you're on a pc option if you're on a mac and i'm going to hold shift and bring that in and you'll see that second pocket come in so the next thing that I want to do is I want to manipulate this stroke so that it looks more like a stitch so I'm gonna go over here to my stroke panel in my properties panel I'm gonna go to stroke click on that and I'm going to do a few things with the stitching you probably want the weight of that stroke to be a lot thinner so with this one I might make it maybe a two-point stroke um, I might make it rounded, um, and that's just the caps of the edges, but I might not, so we'll see. And then um, I'm going to click on dash line, and when you click on dash line, it's going to look like a dash line, okay? So now I got this little pocket looking, um, so I'm changing it from um, just an envelope to a pocket. I might choose, and this just depends, I'm going to hit uh, Command C again, Command or Control C. And then Command or Control F, and I'm going to bring this in just a little bit and try to do like the double stitching. But I might make this stroke down just a little bit more, um, and I might do something like that. So that's pretty much one of the things I would do. And I actually, let me see, I think if I'm going to do double stitching, so I'm holding um, Command or Control C again because I'd want the stitching to be closer to the edge of that pocket. And then the inner stitching, I might want to be, do you have it a little smaller? Also, I probably wouldn't go with hot pink, but um, um, I'd probably go with like a yellow. So maybe, maybe have it a little closer. So if I wanted to make this look just a little bit more realistic, I'd probably choose a denim pattern or something like that. I don't have a denim pattern. So I'm just trying to see what I have um, without having to create one because I don't have time to create one in this video. So I might just go with this blue and then I might make um, this edge maybe a lighter, lighter shade of this blue. So let me see if that's the one I chose. Yeah, so I might make it a lighter shade of that blue by just double clicking. I like to mix colors, so I'm just going to go in here. Um, I'm going to copy this color, so I'm just hitting Command or Control C so that I have the index so that I have that color um, with me. I think I'm cool with that. Let me see. Maybe a little lighter. Let me copy that, though. Copy that one. Okay, and let me see what the stroke weight is. It says five. Hmm. 
Let me see. I might actually go a little darker with this one. Um, and if not, then I'll have to check why I can't see my stroke. There we go. All right. So I'm going to go maybe to hmm, four. Okay, cool. And then with these, I might go with more of a, you know, stitch in like a white or a yellow. And let's see it yellow. That yellow might be just a little bit too bright, but I would just play with the colors until you get the stitching that you want. Um, maybe. Something not so bright to take over. You know, maybe something like this. And then if you want also as well, you can play with um, the stitching. Let's say you're like, oh, you know, I like that, but then I don't. Maybe I want um, to play with like the gap or the dashes. You know, you have options in here. Um, if you want them not to be even in the edges or where they cross the corner, if you have this one, if you want them even at every corner, then you have this one where you see a corner. Notice the difference. Um, this one doesn't worry about the length. It's just pretty much making it true. Um, sorry, true to the dashes. Whereas this one's gonna make sure that they're the corner. So it's gonna mathematically push um, some aside to make sure you have a corner each one. Um, and then let's say you wanted to play with um, the dashes. You can, you can say, well, you know, I want um, a 12 point dash with maybe a, you know, a 12 point gap or maybe a six point gap, maybe one and a half. See how they get a little closer. Um, you can do a smaller dash and you'll see the effect of that to get more of kind of the stitching look with maybe even oops, 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 oops even maybe you don't want the dashes to be even you can do that as well see how we're getting more of the stitching look so you would just play with these maybe you wanted five and then your next dash you want this isn't what i would do but this also shows you how to do other things well let's say you want um actually it's what I would do depending on the project. So see how we have this type. That's not stitching, but it's just showing you another way um, to do that. And let's say you want the dashes or the gap between those to be like um, nine points. So this is pretty much just to show you, you have options in here um, to play with and, and, and play with it to get it to um, your liking. But if I was doing stitching, definitely I would do more like a maybe six, six, Get rid of this, rid of this. Um, and then I would just play with it from there. You also have how you want these to join. You got the round join um, and stuff like that. And the butt cap, which is already rounded um, from doing it earlier. So I would just play in here, but this is really how I would play and get the stitching um, look or get the stitch look that um, you're after so that's pretty much what i would do i would also put texture on this denim um so that it looks like denim but there you go that is um my little tidbit and how i would make the stitching hopefully this helps and i'll see you guys in the next video